Today we're looking at uh, one F6 and MB40 combination with a genuine camera on sale at Date on the Cameras. Let's have a look at the external first. Well, I'll just quit talking, you can have a look. Let's get this close, get some better light in. I'm going to just show the outside, then we'll take it apart, show you contacts. It's really good. The grip has very minor um, what's the word? <laughs> grip is very minor evidence of a previous tiny leak, but the camera itself is very clean. Original F6 body cap. Okay. This is a quick release strap that comes with it. Uh, I guess it's a bit of an idea to release this for the video. It's just getting in the way. Okay. Right. I've got eight new duo cells in here. Um, I can take all these out, but take my word for it, and I'm a man of my word, I should see my feedback. All these contacts in here are excellent. I got a full voltage readout from there, or full voltage, voltage readout from it. The only evidence I can see of anything in the, in the grip, this is the grip, there's a minor wear here, which is really... Little paint loss. All right, inside. Look, give us a light here. There we go. That's it. The contacts are very clean. I'm trying to show where there was a tiny bit of evidence at the very bottom. That's it. Pretty cool. Well, you can just make out. A little bit of spot where there was a leak. I could have cleaned every single bit of that off, but I'd rather just disclose it. It doesn't affect the contacts and the grip provides power perfectly as tested as you'll see in a minute. Uh, contacts here, very clean. It's like it's been on, installed on a camera the whole time. Uh, the camera itself does not come with the separate battery pack here so you have to run it with this or just purchase a spare pack had an f6 a few months ago and bought the pack i think it was only 30 dollars 40 dollars but you get one of these fairly easily this is the the f6 of course body contacts very clean nothing in here this is pristine Okay, well let's uh, turn it on. So, because you don't want to hear it fire. Let's look at the shutter first. Here the shutter curtain, the internals. For my monitor, it looks pretty well in focus. I'm using a pretty wide angle action 4K cam here, so I can't focus this. But you can see this, this is a clean camera. This is nice. From the film back, I mean, it's hardly a, I can see a mark on it. Internally, this is probably has not won a lot of films. Okay, on. 
Cromagno, so we don't have a long wait for an exposure. Should have pressed. Right, you want to see this, I guess. Right. Check the mirrors are working. Well, it is, it's so fast, it harder it records on the video. Um, set on to L low, CL, which is high speed low. I know you know exactly what that means. Flawless. Next we have, I'll go on that one last. CS, which is so-called silent. I mean, it's obviously not really very quiet, but a little bit quieter. Self timer. Really going through the motions here. I mean, there's a good chance by the time you finish watching this video, someone would have actually paid for it. Because I don't push, I mean, I don't um, price things at a silly price, it's like one and a half thousand or two thousand dollars as collector's items. So they'll just stay there. This will be priced at a good price. Around a thousand mark. Yeah, that's a good price. And it will sell. So mirror up. And finally, high speed. With this grip, it should be doing at 600 a second. If I'm correct, I have to remember, I think it's six. Okay, here we go. Let's blow a bit of dust off there. There you go. Beautiful. That shot is good for a long time. I'll quit it now because I'm wasting your batteries. There we go. Thanks for watching. This is for sale now at a great price. Russ from Daytona Cameras.